let us go ahead and first start the HANA cloud. So we go back to the BTP account. Login again. It got signed out. And then we can go inside the uh, service marketplace and search here for HANA Cloud. So you see here HANA Cloud. Let's set up a HANA Cloud instance. Click on create. So HANA, as you might have heard already, it's a database. So we will choose here HANA. Yeah. And then we choose here Dev Space and just give the name or cancel this we should not do this from here never do that sorry we can directly go back to the space go to dev space and in the dev space here you see everything and you see hana cloud choose that and here you will see we can create a hana cloud instance so i'm so sorry i've logged into the wrong account let me sign out and log into the first account which we created for our training so i need to just quickly correct my account sign in again with the correct email id yes this is the correct email ID. it's a fresh account so i'm just go back to the sub account and now we can just go back to the dev space yes and after we go to the dev space we choose sap hana cloud you can see here this option sap hana cloud and here you can see i don't have any instance and then we can choose click on create button and we choose here SAP HANA database. Yes. And now I just log into my account. And I sign in with the default identity provider. And I choose the user ID and password. Log in again. And it gives you, ask you some permissions. So say authorize. And now it takes you to HANA Cloud Central. So this is the process to start a HANA Cloud Database. So we choose SAP HANA Cloud HANA Database. Click on next step. We will put the instance name. Remember the instance name like we did last time. So we can say HANA DB. And remember this password is very important. Agar aap ye bhool gaye, I have no way to recover back your HANA instance. If you forget this. Yeah. I have no way to recover it. Yes. So please, 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 I beg you, do not forget this DB admin password. Yes, you see DB admin. This is the user it will create automatically and HDL admin. So these admin uh, user IDs it will create and for that this is the master password. So please don't forget this. So put the instance name, put the master password and click on next step. Don't have to touch anything. Just next, next, next. And come down and here you choose allow all IP address. Yes. Allow all IP address and click on next step and finish. So this will now create a HANA database instance in BTP. Remember everything in BTP we can use out of the box. We don't have to set up now. You don't have to procure hardware, Dell hardware, Lenovo hardware, HP hardware. Yes, everything is owned by SAP. SAP will start a HANA instance in the cloud for you out of the box. SAP will take care of that everything for you. Yes, it's creating now a database instance in the cloud and you can see the creation is currently in progress. We need to now switch over back to our BTP cockpit. Go to BTP 
sub account and we will create now a instance first so we go to the instances and subscriptions we can click on create button and we are going to create here a choose a service called hana schemas and hdi container service and now we will choose here the plan called schema plan yes so that's what we choose it will create a schema inside our hana cloud database let's give the name space uh, the space is dev space and give the instance name let's call my hana or you can say hana db or hana schema anything you want you can give so we are creating a hana schema instance service backing service instance which manages the schema inside our hana cloud database we click on next button nothing to change and click on create so now it is creating a schema with the name called hana schema inside our hana database you can see and once it is created i can also show you creating a service key so that we can connect to that schema from our database explorer tool yes that is what we will see because eventually when my spring project connects to this hana db it has to insert update delete the data and in order to perform those insert update delete operation i will create vendor table and all that so those tables you can actually experience you can actually see in the tool inside the tool you can go and see that yeah that's what you can actually go and do that so let us see in a moment hana schema is just creating we need to wait it is automatic so it there is only in the trial account you can only create one instance that's default for your trial so any schema which you're creating it is creating in that default instance you can try creating more instances it will fail in the trial account so that that in the trial it's a default so any schema which you create here it will get created in the default instance which is your hana cloud instance make sense that's what is happening yeah that is why it knows so you see it's created let's create a service key to connect to that schema so we can just give a hana dash sk service key click on create a service key is creating so you all know service key what it does it creates user id password and everything so let's open the service key go to form and now you see we have the details so let's connect over hana instance from this tool so this tool is open so now a new schema got created yes so automatically system will create a schema we will connect to that to connect that we click on plus button in the tool and we choose here sap hana database yes and we will put the host name <clears throat> so get that from service key what is the port number 443 is the port number so let's put the port number 443 and i can say user id so the user id is this one you see there are two users which are created user and schema so this is the schema name and this is the username so let's put the username copy that enter and let's put the password so this is the password so from the service key we got the detail and we connect i say save please and i click on okay so you can see now it is connected to my schema which was created by the system fantastic i can expand catalog and i can see if there are any tables or not so if you go to tables there are no tables right now so our next step will be to connect our spring boot project to this hana schema